Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Digicam and on this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Batch Queue Manager. Batch Queue Manager and it is a very interesting and useful features. Digicam, free and open source software to organize photos and to improve and enhance photo. You have also different uh, features like for example a light table mode you can also use a map mode and different type of things if you like my videos subscribe to this youtube channels first link on the description the complete course is available this is uh, my complete course so i'm online teachers i'm online teachers i focus the big part of my time is to create this type of course. So if you are interested by more to learn perfectly Digicam from scratch, it is on the first link on the description, organize the pictures and end the pictures and master Digicam. So let's start with the batch queue managers here. With the batch queue manager, what we can do? We can uh, concretely, I'm going to select these folders and I can select, for example, four pictures. It can be this one, and it can be this one, maybe this one, and this one. After, if I just go right click, I have the possibility to use Batch Queue Manager, Add to Current Queue, or Add to New Queue. I can also directly open this one. If I open this one, I can advise you first to extend the window because it is really small, so extend the window first. And on this interface, you can see the four pictures that I just have selected on the queue number one. If I want to create a new queue with different adjustment, I can click here, new queue, and inside I can select specific pictures. So, for example, I can just go out or hey, it's not very convenient. I can advise you to just come back here. And for example, I can select uh, other picture like it can be this one, maybe this one, not this one, maybe this one, this one, and maybe this one. If I use batch queue managers, now these elements are added to my current queue. The current queue was the number number two, was the queue number two, and this is my first queue and my second queue. So this is the first things to understand to add pictures inside the queue that you want. And after on the queue number one, I can add different adjustment. What is the aim of the batch queue manager? It is to add adjustment, the same type of adjustment on many pictures at the same time, not only on one picture. You can have this process on, for example, you can apply this on two pictures, three pictures, four pictures, 10 pictures, 100 pictures, anything that you want. So on the queue number one, I would like, for example, to increase maybe color and contrast. So I can use first maybe a color auto correction, double click and I can continue a little bit, use maybe HAL correction, and here I can increase the saturation. One of the problems of this tool, something really not convenient is you don't, you don't have the render in real time. You don't have the render in real time. This is a problem of this tool. It is a great concept, but I think this can be a problem. Or you can make your adjustment on one picture first, the image editor and after <coughs> when you think it's okay you can uh, just create your modification on this area so for example i can increase saturation i can increase vibrance maybe a little bit lightness you i can keep to zero and even lightness i think i can raise it to zero after i can continue maybe i can work with little uh, contrast so i can apply bcg correction let's increase little bit the contrast and I can add maybe a little bit white balance and I can increase the saturation again with this value. So now I assign four different uh, adjustments to this, uh, four different adjustments here. And the things that I can do is to apply this adjustment. So I have run and run all. <laughs> if I click on run, I can apply this adjustment only on these four pictures. So it means the queue number one. If I click on run all, I can apply the adjustment on all the queue 
here. <coughs> All the queue here. So I take a glance, I can click on run just here and take a glance, the adjustment is working on the first picture, the second picture of my queue, third and fourth, just like that. But if I wanted to apply run all, it will be on all the pictures at the same time. And now what I can see if I just go out, I can see that I have all these different versions. This is the first version, this is uh, my other version, here it's too much, but it's just to show you the difference. I can zoom a little bit, so I have my first version, my second version, first version, second version, first and second version, and first and second version, just like this, with a difference with adjustment. It's not extremely good, but it's just to show you the principle of batch queue manager. After we need to uh, take times to um, check the adjustment. So if I just come back, thumbnails first, batch queue managers, <laughs> and I just select these pictures, I can create a new queue, for example. At any moment, I can go right click, and I can, for example, clear queue, or I can just remove a queue just like this. If, for example, I select my queue number two, just like this, and <laughs> On the queue number two, I can go on base tool here. And in all the pictures, I would like, for example, because it's not only adjustment, you can apply transform with crop rotation, resize, you can add a border, add a texture, add a watermark. So you can add grain, color effect, you have different type of things. If I just click on border, I can click on this one, I can create a solid border with a color first, let's just activate a red color, validate, and I can increase the white with maybe 20, just like that. And now I would like to have a border on all my queue at the same time, the first and the second. I can click on run all, like this and I will apply my borders on all the pictures on the different queues. If I have, if I have for example, four queues, five queues, six queues, it will apply on everything because I click on run all. Run, it's only the activate queues. Run all, it is on all the queues. And now you can check, here it's okay, and here it's okay. So if I just go, um, if I just go out, what I can see, I can see my border on this one, this one, this one. I think I just, um, I have this version, these versions, number one, number two. Yeah, it's okay. I think I just said a little mistake, so it means I apply this one on my queue number two. So it means this one on the queue number two, here I can remove each time when you select any picture, you create a new queue. So I activate this one on this queue, but, oops, remove. But uh, at the same time, I reactivate the same uh, adjustment on my queue number one. So it means I didn't apply the border on the first queue because it was only on the queue two. And I apply with run all the adjustment on my queue number two, on the queue two, and the queue adjustment of my queue number one on the queue number one also. So here, for example, I could create something uh, more if I wanted. So I can apply also, for example, a frame. So I can click on base tools, add borders, double click. Here it was too much. I can just reduce with maybe four, select a color like blue, just like this, validate, and I can just click on run. I'm going to have a third version. So if I go out, I can see a new version again. So take a glance, I have this one, and I have this one with the adjustment and the frame at the same time. Or again, this one, take a glance. We have the frame and we have the adjustment. So this is how you can use the Batch Queue Manager. It's not extremely simple to use, personally. 
it's little difficult but um, if you know the adjustment if you know what is the correspondence of the different adjustment correction you can apply modification on different pictures at the same time you apply the same modification uh, the thing that i'm going to do is just to come back and now just to close i'm going to remove all the different versions because i don't want this one anymore I can go right click, move to trash. Normally I keep all my original versions. Yes, it's okay. And trash, I can remove these different things. It was just to show you the principle of work. After you need to check the adjustment, if it's correct, depending on what you want to do. But this is the principle of the batch queue managers. So if you like this video, subscribe to these YouTube channels. First links on the description, the complete course Digicam is available, here it's just tutorial, little tutorial, fast tutorial, but in the course, it is a structured course, step by step, starting from scratch, explain slowly the different parts of Digicam. So it is on first link of the description, and for the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.